Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with a tutorial for Plane Maker. This video was recorded using version 1150R3. In this video, we're going to take a look at 2D generic instruments and walk through a very basic example. Working with 2D instruments requires Plane Maker and X Plane to view and test your instruments. We will not be covering 3D cockpits or instruments in this video as they are quite a bit more complicated and require 3D rendering software such as Blender. We will be modifying the default Cirrus Jet for this demo. First, we have to turn off showing the 3D panel in the 2D view so that we can see our new 2D panel. If you do not absolutely need to make your own artwork or animations, or if you aren't using custom data refs, it is usually simpler and much faster to use the dozens of pre-made instruments. But of course, in some cases, you'll need to work with a generic instead. So let's take a look at creating generic instruments. One of each type of 2D generic instrument is available in Plane Maker as a starting point for you to customize your own instruments. If you are not familiar with the generic instrument types, you can see a preview in this box when you click on it in the list. I'm going to add two generic needle instruments to our panel for N1 and N2. Right now, these do nothing, so we need to pick our data refs that will drive the instruments. Use Cockpit 2 data refs for instruments in the cockpit. As you start typing part of the data ref, the list will narrow down and you can make your selection. In this case, we want indicators slash n1%. This data ref needs an index because it's an array. This tells it what engine to use. Data ref arrays start at 0 for engine 1, array 1 is engine 2, and so on. So we'll set this to 0 so that it tracks the N1 of engine 1. For our second instrument, we'll find the N2 data ref and set it to index 0 again so that it also tracks engine 1. The other thing we absolutely must specify is the relationship between the data ref value and the instrument animation. For this, we'll use the keyframe table here on the right. Let's set these up so that the needles start vertically and go straight down as the engine ramps up. So here on our first line, we'll leave zero in the percent column for the data ref value and zero in the degrees column, which should have our needle point straight up when N1 is zero. For our second line, when we're at 100%, we want the needle to point to 180 degrees. With the instrument selected, we can preview our generic instrument animations using the slider down here. And that looks right, so let's set up the N2 needle. This time, let's make it animate in a counterclockwise direction. Again, we want to start vertically, so our first line is the same as before. When percent is zero, Degrees is also zero. However, we'll change our second line so that 100% N2 is negative 180 degrees. Keep in mind you can also preview animations for all generic instruments by clicking this preview button that looks like a film strip. Now save your panel, then go back to X Plane and reload the aircraft and art. Let's also turn on some on-screen data output for N1 and N2. Now as we increase the throttle to max, we can see our generic needle instruments do exactly what we expected, based on what we set up in the keyframe table in Plane Maker. So these are the basics of how to create a generic instrument. Pick a type of instrument, then specify where it moves based on a data ref, even custom ones from plugins, by setting up the keyframe table for the relationship. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 